What's up everybody? Obviously you're looking to get your steering wheel off either your Lamborghini Urus or your Audi SQ8. Um, so on this one we're going to go ahead and go over how to do that. Uh, I'm removing the steering wheel to do a complete swap. We got a carbon fiber steering wheel for this one and we're doing a complete custom interior. So let's go ahead and go over this steering wheel real quick and I'll flip this camera around. So there's the Lamborghini Urus. We got the uh, interior taken out for now for now I'll be sitting on this you're gonna need a screwdriver about this length um, ideally you have a Torx one or something more flat on the inside this one's sharper than I prefer but it's about the right length so the spots are on the bottom corners so if you rotate the steering wheel on the very back that slot right there that's the one you're gonna insert your screwdriver into and you're gonna be pushing it inwards. So you'll put your screwdriver in like so. And you'll find the spring and you'll be lifting up on it to try and get the spring to release this front airbag. And so one side is unclipped. When you release your screwdriver, it'll kind of pop right out. So you have to go key on. For Get your steering wheel unlocked. Because it's popped off at an angle, it's probably gonna be hitting your airbag sensor because all it needs to do is press on, make contact for that horn to go off so again that little slot insert your screwdriver I'm gonna try and do this one-handed but try to usually hold the steering wheel at the bottom let's see how this works So hold on just one moment. I'm going to have to hold the bottom with my hand. Let's see if I can put you down here. The airbag comes right off. You'll have a connector on the back side. It'll be this yellow one right here. You. Lean this up against here. See if this will work. So, with that, we just need to bring that safety tab up. So now that it's up, we'll be able to push down on the sensor, slide it out, and our airbag has one more wire running down here. It'll be right there. So let me pull that apart. Airbags out. We'll straighten our steering wheel back to zero. I always like to keep them straight. Verify the wheels are straight. And we'll get our inverted torques. Remove that bolt. Unplug these last two wires and we're good to go. Okay, got the tools we need. This one will be a 12 millimeter 12 point inverted 12 point great gun pulls it right out even with the Loctite on there 
Now what we do as a shop is we always pre-mark them. So as you can see right there, it actually already has a yellow mark. We're lucky there. But even though this one's getting a brand new steering wheel, it will still have that little line to be able to put it at zero. So a little rule we have in our shop is whenever you remove a steering wheel, uh, you have to basically tape it off at zero. So now that our steering wheel is removed, we tape off our clock spring just to keep it from rotating. So main thing is to keep it from rotating a full spin. If it moves a little bit side to side, that's okay. That's not a big deal. But once it gets out of sync with the steering wheel, you run into problems. All right, and that's how to remove the steering wheel on a Lamborghini Urus or an Audi SQ8. They'll be extremely similar. They're almost the same vehicle. So there's our steering wheel. I'm going to be disassembling all the electronics off of it and transferring it over to our new carbon fiber wheel. So I might do a video on that one later, but for now we're just going to leave it at that. So now that we have our steering wheel off the Lamborghini Urus, we're going to go ahead and disassemble it, transfer everything over to our carbon wheel, and we'll be all good to go. So we'll reverse the process basically on the installation minus the airbag. We'll just snap into the center. So hopefully this video helps you get your Audi SQ8 or your Lamborghini Urus airbag or steering wheel replacement handled. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I should respond to you pretty quickly.